teach you sawmill tuning on the banjo. Now this tuning goes back a long ways and it was probably Clarence Ashley or Tom Ashley from Mountain City, Tennessee who first came up with the term sawmill. Okay, And you, you hear that term also on sawmill tuning on the fiddle which is a little bit different. But sawmill tuning on the banjo has other names. Some people call it mountain minor or G modal. So it's, a, it's a basically a G tuning. Now right now I'm in in what's called double C tuning, which is a common, a common tuning in the claw hammer banjo. So to get from double C tuning to G sawmill tuning, we're gonna keep everything the same except we're gonna raise the fourth string up. Now right now, in double C tuning, the fourth string is a C, okay? So we're gonna raise the fourth string from a C to a D. And we're gonna do that, we're gonna, I'm gonna grab a hold of the fourth string and I'm going to give it one big turn and it's important that as you tune the string you play it so you can hear it go up so you can estimate how far it has to go. Now I think I got it pretty close. Now I can check it by putting my finger on the fourth string at the fifth fret and I did a pretty good job. It's pretty close. So now the strings in sawmill tuning are the first string is a D, the second string is a C, the third string is a G, the fourth string now is a D, and the fifth string is a G. So that's what, that's what it sounds like. This tune is used to play songs like the Cuckoo, Cluck Old Hen, uh, Shady Grove, and things like that. So it's a great, it's a great um, tuning to use for 